Hello everybody, this is Mr. Po and welcome to a new fish keeping related video. Today's video though will be a little bit different. Today we are taking a look at some photographs of natural aquatic habitat. And what I'm talking about uh, is a CD with these photographs that was recorded by my uncle back in 2006. My uncle um, is um, uh, fond of uh, fishing and he often goes to wild places in order to catch fish and see the natural environment and once he went and take a camera with him and took some nice nice photographs and we will take a look at them today a little bit of a backstory it is 2006 it is a cd and all those uh, photographs uh, my uncle recorded on this cd so in order to retrieve them I uh, took my external CD drive because you don't use that stuff very often these days and I copied them to my computer and uh, let's take a look at them and see uh, you know uh, how all those things look and um, just enjoy the natural habitat. Uh, I want to say that I'm not expert in identifying the wildlife in you know natural habitats i'm not a biologist though i have a certain degree of knowledge of you know aquatic life just because of my fish keeping hobby but as for the natural habitat i am not an expert of course and of course i'm not an expert in local types of fish that are not typical maybe for aquarium hobby that much but at the aim of the video the final aim probably is not to identify all that but just to enjoy the nature and how it may differ from the aquascapes that we try to create at home because uh, we create beautiful aquascapes that uh, according to the rules should replicate nature but we do not replicate them 100 percent we are probably inspired by nature when we create aquascapes as for the natural habitats they are closer to the look that is more typical for uh, for you know a biotope style aquarium in which you create a certain you know habitat uh, replication of a habitat let it be some kind of river or a puddle or a lake etc so you know well without further ado then let's take a look and enjoy that and try to make our conclusions hello hello everyone it's actually a different day you have probably noticed because i changed my outfit and this is because the first time when i recorded this part of the video the sound didn't record at all so i was pretty much disappointed about that and thought maybe the next day and this is another day let's take a look at those photos uh, i actually already forgot about them you know what is in them so i'll try to share my impressions with you guys and because my fish keeping hobby has developed a lot uh, and evolved if you will um, when i uh, looked at those pictures from another probably point of view this time this time the experience of witnessing those pictures and photographs this was completely different in my opinion because you know when you are into fish keeping i think you start to appreciate nature more so that's what happens well and uh, without further ado let's take a look at this photograph a beautiful one and this is a pike fish uh, i think it is a pike fish judging by the shape of the fish take a look at those shiny scales this patchwork if you will the fins the overall body shape the big head of this fish this is very beautiful i think that uh, it shows you uh, how different nature can be and this murkiness of water this is something that you see uh, you know in the biotope aquascape because tannins are released into water column so this is the case of this photograph and uh, it's beautiful to see the wild fish in its wild natural habitat among the reeds because these things are probably the reeds so well uh, i like this one very much and um, there is a lot of things there are a lot of things to just uh, um, you know like admire i mean like it's not maybe the best looking photograph if you take a look at it from the point of view of an aquascape but but uh, uh, it's just appreciation of nature so beautiful one so let's come to the next one uh, this i can relate to that um, even more because this is a perch and perches are um, relative kind of like of the same family with cichlid fish uh, that we keep in aquaria and uh, if you just look at the overall shape of the fish and even the colors 
uh, so you may see you can see just similarity total similarity um, you know these are rather intelligent fish as any cichlids you know and um, it's fun to see it you know in natural environment you see a lot of debris a lot of mulm you know on the bottom just like in any biotope uh, and behind we can see some other fish that are very familiar I mean in terms of their shape to some barbs maybe tinfoil barbs or grozy barbs they are beautiful maybe they are bigger judging by the fact that they are farther uh, you know in the distance and they are still rather big uh, I mean uh, even even at the back so I think that they are bigger if you just you know look at them uh, closely well uh, uh, and, and, and again we see the reeds a lot of mound a lot of natural things happening a beautiful one beautiful photograph so the next one I think that we can relate to it uh, as well because we also keep crustaceans in aquaria this guy is really impressive a little bit intimidating and uh, I like the whole texture you know of his shell of his exoskeleton if you will well and here is another photo of him hiding you know uh, hiding these claws are very impressive intimidating and uh, there are some plants that look like cornwood much like cornwood maybe it is so and this one is probably my favorite photograph just because it's so clear and the light penetrates through you know this uh, place which is a little bit shadowy in some places in some places sunny and you know swish swim uh, through the reeds you know and uh, in one direction which i really like we see the schooling behavior and those ones are similar to rainbow sharks just by their colors and these ones i think that these are ones that we saw previously or maybe not and uh, you know uh, it looks like something between between a barb and a tetra just because of this fin i like those fish they are maybe not that colorful uh, probably but they look very natural and in natural environment it's always you know a happy thing to see fish swimming you know in search for food or spawning or anything you know in nature well that's i think that that's my favorite photograph of all these photographs in this set so the next one is a little bit kind of like mixed but i like this photograph because it just shows you showcases how light you know a place uh, around on the bottom of you know this biotope and uh, this plant looks like lelis neria you know uh, everything is intertwined and uh, we can see some other fish as well these are ones that we have seen pro uh, probably previously and these ones they look like resboras but there is a standing out stripe of green you know on the body on the spine which is really impressive and they are all hurling somewhere and in one direction most of the time and this one it just shows you how light looks you know underwater in natural habitat which is inspiring and the next one is a little bit clearer in my opinion because we see fish it is a little bit uh, you know above uh, you know in the water column and below we see probably well it's near and you know what I've noticed when I you know uh, analyze this water is that the the tips of willis neriot here are all chipped and this is because you know it's nature and fish go here and there and they get damaged but the nature finds its way and it anyway grows you know and i like the reflection you know the reflection of the surface uh these ones look like the previous ones that look like rainbow sharks maybe they are different in color just because you know uh it's just uh, the light the light different lighting and these ones are asbora like fish uh, and um, you can see how beautifully they look and uh, this green stripe really stands out and I like that they school in one direction almost like together uh, beautiful beautiful sight so the next one again the an example of a perch and there are several ones you see here and there and they are kind of like inquisitive 
again because they are intelligent and here is in the foreground you can see some plants plant matter all intertwined uh, together and uh, here is a hornwork uh, like plant probably a beautiful sight malmi you know and the whole murkiness of water behind the whole almost magical atmosphere makes you think about you know the wonders of nature probably and this one uh, what i like about that photograph is that uh we have some kind of you know plants here that look like moss because they are kind of like attached to the reeds but i don't know why they are of that color uh it's unusual but at the same time the whole texture is a little bit weird a little bit interesting intriguing and uh, some you know plant matter some malm on the bottom everything is mixed up just like the nature does so this one uh this plant looks much like the hornwort but it has a little bit different leaves and the color is different but what i find really significant are the red tips and this is beautiful because you know uh you don't expect you know maybe to find red plants all over the place and uh, between the valley sneria all that grows i think that this is valley sneria probably or some kind of relative to valley sneria you know plant well and here you know when i first uh, looked at this uh, a long time ago uh, I don't remember even if I was impressed, but this time I was really impressed because you don't expect to see a photograph of a turtle in its natural habitat all the time. And uh, this is a beautiful species. Just take a look at its skin and the patchwork. It's uh, kind of like not every day you see such a turtle, such a beauty, right? And here is another example of it in water. You know, a happy turtle in water beautiful beautiful species beautiful animal so and here is another example of this hornwort like plant and as you can see this is interesting because here this red tips stand out nicely and i don't know whether it's just natural or maybe because of the sunlight as we know that that you know when the plant uh when there is you know too much probably sunlight coming the tips become red because that's how they protect themselves from this lightning so maybe this is the case or maybe this is just the natural color of plant because you see the stem itself is also red and the tips are red maybe they grow and become a little bit pale like this like green or almost like a beige or something uh i don't know but anyway it's impressive impressive and there is a lot of it you see it grows all over the place and uh, <laughs> it is algae i think these stripes if you can see it these are not the stripes they're just like threads or something you know like hair like hair algae oh my goodness what i want to say is that you know being interested in fish keeping hobby being interested in aquascaping sometimes it naturally leads us to being interested in natural habitats of the fish because you wonder where this fish lives and how it lives how it differs from the habitat that you created for them and i think that it leads to more awareness about natural habitats and how human involvement changes them with time because there is such a problem you know our involvement in in certain areas in you know nature it sometimes may uh, you know affect negatively the habitats of those animals of course so i think that uh, you know appreciation of the nature itself and how it regulates itself and how it evolves uh, and what forms it takes i think that it is awesome and fish keeping in is in my opinion one of the key moments that can you know develop this area of interest in many people so that's very awesome well thank you so much to my uncle for these photographs because it's really awesome again uh, awesome experience because i think that uh, as my fish keeping hobby has evolved i think that i uh, looked at these photographs from a completely different point of view that differs from you know the uh, the moment when i was just like what 15 16 years old of course so awesome experience once again uh, completely different even better impressions right now so and thank you very much i hope you enjoyed this as much as i did and uh, take care see you next time then and thank you for watching